Today we're in Anaheim, California, right outside of the Anaheim Convention Center. And today we're doing something that we've never done before. We're about to head inside for DesignerCon. Now what's DesignerCon? That's a good question. I don't really know. I hear about DesignerCon every year when it comes around and I've never really been able to figure out exactly what it is. Uh, a friend of mine told me that there is definitely a lot of 80s and 90s retro goodness there. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna head down to DesignerCon and figure it out for myself. And I thought this would be a good year to do it because Corey Feldman is here this year. He is uh, selling and autographing his brand new exclusive Funko Pop. So I thought, let's go down, check out DesignerCon, see Corey Feldman. It'll be a good time. I'm bringing you with me. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, we just got in the hall, we just got our badges, and we're heading inside, and I'm excited, maybe? I don't know. And here we are, DesignerCon 2023. My first time. And it looks like we might have found our first booth that interests us, and it looks like it's gonna be a good one. This is amazing. Look at this. But even more amazing is this one right here. Oh my gosh. And a close runner up would be this one. Wait a minute. Hold on. There's no end to the awesomeness that we have found at this booth. And then as if the art itself wasn't amazing enough, I just noticed the name of it. And if you were looking to not spend quite as much money, they also have prints that are a little bit cheaper. All right, I see some more cool art. Prison Mike. Awesome. Wait a minute. How did I almost miss this one? Right, or this one. Okay, so I was a little confused by this. I was like, why is there a line to see, you know, to go to this little medical booth and you know, they've got doctors there in the waiting room. And then over here, you see the, uh, the examiner. I was confused and I realized that this is, the, this is the store. This is how they have it set up like you're at the, uh, the medical examiner. The coroner over there. Interesting, very creative. All I can say is, Amazing. Okay, go ahead, tell us about, about this uh, awesome product here. Sure, so um, I was a fan of Garage Bell Kids growing up. I grew up in the 80s, so uh, I collected the original cards. This is kind of my uh, take on that style, and I do different kinds of horror cards and different pop culture, uh, 80s brands, uh, parody sets, so a bunch of different cards. Uh, uh, I sell the cards and pins and original art. So just my take on that style. So basically it's your artistic tribute to the Garbage Pill mm -hmm. Kids yeah. that you grew up with. Uh, we got some cool custom action figures here. Oh, yeah. so, so basically this is sold out. That's sold out. Oh wait, that's I almost okay. missed that. This launched this weekend, you got launched this weekend. 
Kane is sold out. Oh. So yeah. Kane is sold he's out. Oh well. He's all sold out. No, we that just is awesome. Weekend. So we oh. have a couple here, and then okay. he goes on pre-order. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, we have yeah. a couple, but then it'll be months before the pre-order sale. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. And everything's handmade, hand-painted. Well, it sounds like yeah, they're yeah, doing yeah. good. Everything is sold Thank out. Yeah. Good for them. Hey, guys. How are you? Fantastic. This is one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. Thank you, man. <laughs> Was this one of the ones you were saying is sold out? Uh, no, we have a couple. We have okay. a couple here. Yep. Okay. And it's, uh, it's available for pre-sale right now as well. But we have a couple that you can buy. If you do the pre-sale thing, it'll be a couple months for us to fulfill. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that the price on this? Or yep, that's the price for okay. that guy. This guy is just a display. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Okay, we just noticed the fortune teller. Maybe they can tell us what time Corey Feldman is actually going to arrive. Yeah, ask the boy. Do you know what time Corey Feldman's going to arrive? So we are going to make sure that everybody gets here early. I'm getting here early. I'm going to start signing at 11 a.m. sharp. I will be here uh, on time. You'd have to pay me three dollars, and then and then we'll find out. That that makes oh, there it is, yeah. right there. I mean, obviously, you're not going to do this for free. I can't. What? It yeah. won't. It doesn't work. Right. Out. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Oh, cool. Slush Cult is here along with Gecko Hawaii, one of my favorite clothing brands. If your clothes don't glow under a black light, you're doing something wrong. I'm old and this place confuses me. I'm old and nothing here makes sense to me. Yeah, and look, then you're just going along and then there's Steve Cavallaro. Amazing. I mean, where else can you just be shopping and then all of a sudden you see one of your uh, childhood heroes selling his art. We have found him, he's here and the line is out of control. Tomorrow morning we're gonna be nuts. There's gonna be like a big crazy line here. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am that I see a Yo Gabba Gabba banner. Wait, and strawberry shortcake. But seriously, Yo Gabba Gabba was a show that I watched all the time with my son. And uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm just excited to see it. Uh-oh, patches. I might have to grab something for the jacket. Oh my gosh, I was just walking along and I spotted something. Amazing. I need that. Oh, he just pulled out more and there's an emergency game too. 
Amazing. Boom. Chips. Well, that's not exciting, but I'm sure inside Ooh. is very exciting. Oh, so let's go with the board. my. It's even the right side oriented towards you, I think. There's San Pedro, Pedro's Tacos, Pier 19, Malibu Beach, oh. and here we go, the good stuff. All the cars, all the pieces, the motorcycles, oh. the cards, the dice. I know it's upside down, but there's a list no. of materials. I think there's a list of materials here. Yeah, materials. It's and this is a complete. This complete original, I'm complete assuming. Complete original. I don't think they would have re recreated or you know repopped this. The ideal this. toy company. Right. The corners are pretty good. This one's a little bit rough. It's starting to peel up over here. But this should be from 1980 something. 1981. 1981. Okay, so I was just checking out this booth because they had some cool hip hop stuff. But then I discovered this side and discovered some of the most amazing stuff. I have ever seen. I don't even know where to start. Okay, first they have these, you know, action figure type of crates of records, right? That's cool. Then they've got the gun from Power. Two shorts, Tombstone. Hello, Cool J's Panther. Doughboy's 40. Easy E's 40 of OE, but wait a minute. Prince's spray can, amazing. I mean, there can't be anything else that could top that, right? What about that? My mind is completely blown here. Plus on top of that, they got Slick Rick and Eric B and Rocky M. Uh, here in the back of the convention, they've got a bunch of tables set up for you to, I don't know, I guess relax, eat some food, and then they've got some vehicles. Got the mystery machine. Got Kit. All right, well, we missed our chance to talk to Corey. Uh, we came back now to talk to him, and he's gone. There's his banner. And here are the pops that he's selling. There's a big rumor on the street that we're gonna sell out uh -huh. at that convention. And these are a designer con exclusive that you can also purchase on his website. Got the Corey Feldman Love Left 2.1 box set. All that amazing stuff that you get inside of the box. Got to make sure you grab yourself a Corey Feldman CD while you're here. And his book. And if you want to grab one of those pops, you can get one autographed for a hundred and, wait, no, I'm sorry, 160 bucks is if you want the pop and a selfie. If you want it autographed. Okay, so it's 75 bucks or 150 bucks for an autograph, but that's on top of the price of the selfie. Or I'm sorry. That's on top of the price of the pop. So you buy the pop for a hundred, and then it's another 150. Up there, Strawberry Shortcake getting escorted to or from her booth, I don't know. But we are out of here. That is gonna do it for us for DesignerCon 2023. It's getting really crowded now. And uh, I've had enough. But we had a good time. So there it is, that's gonna do it for us for DesignerCon for 2023. And now that I've done it, how do I feel? Now that I've seen it and I know what it is, well, I kind of feel the same. I'm, I'm still a little confused. I don't really know what it is. Uh, I guess I have a better understanding. I would say that DesignerCon is a convention for artists to display and sell uh, their really cool creations. And so we did have a really good time. I know that I was uh, teasing about Corey Feldman a lot in there, but it's just for fun. Of course, I love Corey's movies and I'm just, I'm just having a good time. It was also really great seeing Steve Caballero. I had a little conversation with him about Search for Animal Chin. Uh, more about that later in another video. Uh, but yeah, it was a good time. I'm glad that we came down and experienced it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.